Hey everyone, welcome back to my 14 day marketing challenge. This is day three. Today, I want to talk about a book that I'm reading. Oops, it's called The Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins. Got to get it right there for the camera. Excellent stuff. Um, this, uh, this book by Mel Robbins is uh, really designed to help you blast through your, uh, your limiting thoughts and beliefs, and especially around procrastination. You might have seen Mel Robbins on um, TED Talk, where she basically discussed uh, everything that's in this book uh, about procrastination and just how to really blast through it and um, turn your self-doubt and fear into something that, that can be used positively in your life, become more confident, conquer anxiety, increase your productivity, and develop a, a really powerful mindset. So, hey, Liliana, say hi, thanks for joining, good to see you. Um, what it is, it, uh, it's gonna sound actually too simple to be, to be effective, um, because it, it really is um, pretty elementary. But what you do is you start with this concept that throughout your day, you've got a series of little um, five minute increments that are little micro decisions. And sometimes they're, they're small ones, sometimes they're larger decisions, but regardless, large or small, taken together, these little five minute decisions determine your productivity your physical health, and even your mental welfare. So um, the idea here is that pro procrastination really starts with a little hesitation, a moment of doubt, a brief distraction. Um, and then if, uh, if this, this moment of hesitation is left unchecked, it can escalate into full-blown avoidance. And this is the, where we, we call it um, you know, blowing things off this hesitation that results in avoidance, uh, it's really a mental process. And it's a pattern of behavior that we all learn when we're very young and we repeat it throughout our life growing up. And it becomes pretty ingrained in most of us. We all do it, um, you know, how often, I think to myself, uh, you know, how often do I get ready for bed and I'm preparing for the next day and I'm getting my gym clothes out. I have every intention to work, work out first thing in the morning. My eyes open the next day and the very first thought is I don't feel like it. You know, rarely do I wake up and feel like I wanna go work out. So in that moment, there's that hesitation, there's the resistance and there's the opportunity to turn that around. And the five, five second rule is, is really an a interruption of that pattern. So instead of going on autopilot when you don't feel like it, you take that moment of hesitation and you begin counting down five, four, three, two, one. And then you stop thinking and you just jump right into action. There's no internal debate anymore. There's none of that, you know, good me and bad me on each shoulder talking into opposite ears. You stop weighing out your options. You do what you need to do. You honor the commitment you made to yourself and you just get it done. Uh, you know, it sounds too simple, right? Like I said, it sounds too simple to actually be effective. And you might be saying, can it really be that easy, right? Well, here's the thing. The reason why it works, and there's a lot of compelling science behind this, is counting down helps you focus. It helps you put your mind on the goal or the commitment that you made to yourself free from the worries, the thoughts, the fears that jump into your mind. And as soon as you reach the number one in your countdown, you move and that's it. It's just as simple as that. So it, again, it's a pattern interrupt. And anytime you notice yourself in this kind of a hesitation, I don't feel like it, taking action over and over again in these instances will create a new pattern of behavior where once you were a procrastinator, now you become someone who acts, someone who, who, um, who really takes um, control. And um, it can have, like I said, a, a profound impact in every area of your life. So again, the five second rule with Mel Robbins, I highly recommend it. Again, the TED Talk is tremendous as well. And by the way, another thing that's totally unrelated to this, but 
maybe in whatever it is that you do, you struggle to stay in touch with people and it's affecting your relationships in a negative way. Maybe in your professional life, it looks like a lack of customer loyalty and you have a tough time staying top of mind with people. Well, I have three easy guaranteed steps that do just that in a time proven system. Uh, if any of this sounds at all interesting to you, I'd be happy to share it with you. Direct message me, I'll shoot it right over to you. Well, I hope that was helpful. Um, hope you got something out of that. That's all for now. Until next time, bye for now.